This last week I've just let it loose. I really haven't been doing anything spiritually and I really feel it. I feel depleted. I feel groggy. I mean, look at my eyes, they're baggy. They're kind of dull, kind of dark. And I've just been fapping, you know, every single day. <clears throat> we lost water for a week. I had nowhere to go, so I didn't shower. And, uh, you know, I had the pheromones running. I could smell my body. And as a kid, I always used my own smells to s simulate sex. Might sound kind of gross to you, but I've always been into smells. So without, you know, the shower and being left alone in the house, I kind of just did whatever I wanted. I just, I, I had a spiritual relapse. I, I fapped, I ate sugar, I drank pop. I was watching TV the whole time. I was actually even rocking. Like right now I'm on a rocking bench. I'm on a rocking bench. There's a rocker inside the house in the living room. So I've been being kind of sneaky. You know, this whole channel is about not rocking back and forth. So I'm really pushing the envelope in the wrong direction. And I feel like I'm depleting my my chi, my, my energy, my light. You can see it in my face. You know, and I'm, I'm starting to feel a little anxious, a little more angst. I'm trying to run from myself. I'm trying to run from the situation of being you know, the world's not right. We all know this. But it's not worth it. It's not worth the, the short term. I mean, we're talking five minutes of pleasure during no fap. I mean, fapping. Five minutes of pleasure, which usually for me equals about three to five days of guilt and shame. Something I've been trying to run from. But it's a vicious cycle because you know, guilt and shame makes you want to run from it, so you do stupid stuff, and then that causes more guilt and shame. So the fapping creates more guilt and shame. The sugar creates more guilt and shame. The watching TV creates more guilt and shame. Any addiction out there is creating more guilt and shame. You can pretend it doesn't affect you, but it's lowering your self-esteem just a little bit every single time you do it. My whole life has been in this vicious cycle. I'd go six months sober, and then I'd get restless and I would drink. I would go nine months sober and I'd get restless and I would drink. One time I went one month without rocking back and forth, and then I started. I was just, I was like, okay, well I went a month, I'm gonna start rocking again. And I'm on, I'm on almost two months of no rocking and I'm finding little sneaky ways to stim. And so last week I fapped every day, at least six days in a row. And I finally showered yesterday and I was like, no more. You know, I've been seeing these thumbnails of people before and after. When they were fapping, they looked like this. They were just dull, you know? And then they went a whole month without fapping. And then they look, they look stellar. They look, they look solid. They look so solid. You can see their light force. You can see their chi in their eyes. I mean, the eyes reveal everything. And that's why I looked away from people when they were talking to me. I had guilt and shame, low self-esteem, because I was doing stupid stuff behind the scenes. I was getting wasted. I was, I was getting drunk every single night pissing my bed, vomiting in the morning, drinking beer around the clock, and I couldn't look people in the eyes. I had nothing good going on in my life. People with Asperger's, they always feel like they have to be doing something, you know, uh, striving towards a goal. I always had a goal in mind, and this is the first time in my life that I don't really have a lot of goals right now. We're kind of stuck in limbo. And I took advantage of it. 
you know I was like well there's lots of junk food here there's a TV here we didn't have that where we came from North Carolina we lived in the mountains <clears throat> I could shop for what I wanted food wise and it was it was serene came down here in Texas <clears throat> lived by a highway don't really know how I'm gonna work out yet tons of junk food in the fridge <clears throat> And I just went, I just went for it. I relapsed and I have nothing from it. It was empty. A couple, couple minutes of short term pleasure for weeks of, you know, feeling low, feeling groggy, you know, sketched out life force completely depleted. So it's not worth it guys. I mean, it's not. You got to just retain it. You have to retain it. Retain your chi. Do not spill it. Do not do not expend it. Now what you can do, I got a technique for you. <clears throat> I do this. It does work. So after about a week or two of building up your chi, you're going to feel a lot of sexual pent-up energy down in your groin. So what I want you to do is visualize I want you to I want you to visualize a, a gold ball of light down there okay that's your that's your chi that's your sexual energy and I want you to breathe it up so you can close your eyes if you want but breathe breathe it up and when you're breathing it up your spine towards your head I want you to flex your pelvic floor you know the muscle where you cinch off your pee I want you to flex that as you breathe in and when you breathe in pretend the gold light is going up your spine and hold it and flex that pelvic floor and then release and let that energy let the, all that gold energy that you raised up let it expel in every cell of your body you're all, you're taking a shower with that gold light that you breathe up your spine. So breathe in. And let it flow through throughout your whole body. And that will bring up all that ain't all that pent up energy because if you leave it down in your groin, you're going to want to touch it. You're going to want to you're you're going to want to release it cuz there's going to be a lot of pressure down there. Okay? If you don't fap, it will build up. And if you don't know how to expand, you know, expand from that energy, you're gonna want to fap. So breathe in, hold it, <clears throat> and let that gold light shower all through your every cell, every cell of your body. You can do that in the morning, and you can do that at night. It's a very, it gets you, it gets you pumped up. So you probably want to do it in the morning, but try to hold in your breath for four seconds at the top. Okay. So you bring it up and hold it for four seconds and then, ah, and let it shower all over your body. That's what you can do with the sexual energy. And yeah, relapse is part of recovery. I say that in all my videos. So don't get, you know, don't kick yourself, all right? Don't kick yourself, don't judge yourself because I did that all the time. And and when I felt bad uh, for relapsing, it would just continue the relapse. I would say, "Well, I, you know, I just screwed up. Might as well go to town now and really do it up." No, that's a mistake, all right? I admit that I relapsed. It's a mi very mild relapse because we're getting better every single year. So a relapse for me today is a little bit of fapping, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of TV. Whereas 10 years ago, 15 years ago, a relapse was pure hell. I mean, we're talking case of beer a day, watching porn three times a day, smoking a pack of cigarettes, getting my hands on some meth whatever cheating so you gotta give yourself some credit you are a lot better than you were 10 years ago okay
If you've been working on your spiritual growth, God, give yourself some credit. So don't go into guilt and shame because that's the devil's main weapons against you. He wants to keep you low. He wants you to feel guilt and shame. It's it's God doesn't want you to feel guilt and shame. You do not have to repent. All right. You can say, I'm sorry. I'm, you know, forgive me, Father. I'll work harder next time. But God doesn't want you to stay punished. He wants you to thrive. He wants you to feel good. He wants you to do righteous things. All right. So don't think that guilt and shame is your is your way of paying for it. You do not have to feel guilt and shame. You can say you're sorry, please forgive me, I'm a sinner, and then move on. So I'm picking up the pieces. Day one. This is day one. I'm clean, I'm showered, I'm groggy, my chi is gone. I got to build it back up. That's all you got to do. Pick up the pieces. Keep, keep on going. I'm here for you. We're going to do this together. It, it is life or death. Addictions are life or death. You know, if you have an addictive personality like me, it is life or death. I almost died from alcohol, heart attack when I was 32, lost 80 jobs, dozens of girlfriends, hated my parents, yelled at them, made them cry, all that stuff. Jail time. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not a romantic notion to destroy your life. It's not, it doesn't pay to be the bad guy, all right? They always lose in the end. They always lose. The light always wins. Love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you're uh, struggling with addictions or whatever, and we'll, we'll work on it together. We'll talk to you soon.